Hey there, welcome back to Backstage Pass. I'm John Moses. West Side Story is indeed the talk of the town. With a huge demand of ticket sales at the box office, we've actually added a fourth week of performances. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, do so quickly. There are certainly more options available to you. But in the meantime, let's go find out what all the excitement is about and meet up with DJ Salisbury, the director, and Alex Sanchez, the choreographer. Hi, I'm DJ Salisbury, and I'm the director of West Side Story here at Riverside Theatre, and this is Alex Sanchez, and he is our choreographer. Hi, I'm Alex Sanchez, and I'm the choreographer. <laughs> and actually, what's fun is that we can talk that we've known each other for a very long time. Yes. Because uh, actually, I... Actually, danced your piece. Yes, yes. he danced mm -hmm. one of my pieces uh, way back when in Orlando. Mm -hmm. uh, we were both uh, involved with Southern Ballet Theatre, mm -hmm. and so that goes back into the 80s. Mm -hmm. when we were, oh, toddlers, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm yeah. still in diapers. Exactly, now. exactly. But you were still a good dancer. Though. I could point my feet. You sure could. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing West Side Story, and we're, I can't tell you how thrilled I am, because I do think this is one of the, the masterpieces of American musical theater. For many reasons, Bernstein's music, Arthur Lawrence's book, and Jerome Robbins' choreography. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, yeah. I mean, when I got the call from DJ about doing West Side Story, he was very adamant about, DJ was very adamant about doing Jerome Robbins' choreography. And I agreed with him. I felt that the musical, though it was written by Arthur Lawrence and composed by Leonard Bernstein, it was conceived, the idea was conceived by Jerome Robbins. And he created the dances first before the music. Therefore, Bernstein would go into the room and watch these dance creations and then notate and compose his dance arrangements based on what he saw. So when you see the complexities, and you hear the complexity of the movement married to the complexity of the music, there's such a, a wonderful marriage in it, it would be difficult to do something different. It would be like, um, for instance, if you were singing Maria and you put in a different word, like um, Elijah, you know, Elijah, I just met a girl named Elijah, it doesn't have the same impact. Well, the dancing is the same. It's like, you can put a different step to it, but it wouldn't have the same contextual and character and intentional impact that um, the original has. And uh, Alex has done the show a couple of times. And, uh, <laughs> Many a couple times. of times. And what I love <laughs> about watching him work with the our dancers <clears throat> here uh, is how much of the storytelling and the intent that he delivers to them. Uh, so it's not just about teaching steps. He's really talking about character relationships. It's really beautiful to watch. Well, I was very lucky because I had done as an actor, I had done the show about five times, and then I did have, and I played all, all the Jets pretty much, and um, um, I did have the luxury of having a choreograph and set um, the show once before, and so having those two points of views gives me, a, a, I think, a better rounded, well-rounded uh, base to inform the performers and to inform the show about the dancing. And there is a lot of dancing. Oh my heavens. You're going to see so much dancing. So much dancing. And we have a fantastic cast. Oh, our cast is amazing. I was talking to Alex a minute ago about how uh, I think it's really great that we have several people that have done the show, some of them several times, but on the whole, it's a cast of people that have never done the show. Yeah. So there's a wonderful veterans and newbies uh, quality that they're really supporting one another and it's this beautiful synergy that's happening to watch them. And, and even with the people that have done the show before, mm -hmm. discover new things. Well, they're affecting each other. Oh, I like so the, the, the newness of what the, the what I call the non-West Side veterans mm -hmm. are coming into this with such a fresh yeah. point of view that it affects it the totally people who have done it before. Yeah. And, it's, and, it, and it then becomes Riverside Theater's version Correct. interpretation yes. of West Side yeah. Story, which I am actually very excited about because it is a very youthful exuberant mm -hmm. and, and, and fresh point of view. It really feels the, very, yeah. very exuberant. Yeah, it's not a museum piece. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's actually alive. Yeah, yeah exactly. 